Hi, and welcome back. Today, I'm an heir visiting with a woman who has turned her passion into a career, thanks to the help of a little feathered friend. Julia Staines is a self-employed bird control technician. For the past four years, Julia has worked with Honey, a Harris hawk, for seagull control at local landfills. The two also provide educational presentations for schools and camps. So I guess my first question for you is how did you get into this kind of work? Um, well, I've always been interested in birds of prey ever since I was little. So uh, I had a job at the Kitchener Humane Society and we used to get a lot of injured birds of prey. Um, so we would always call this one rehabber and I ended up talking to him and he eventually hired me and I was working for him for quite some time. Um, so since then, I've actually started my own company, Free Bird Falconry, and that's what we're doing now. Julia's birds come from breeders where they are born and raised in captivity. Once they are ready to leave the nest and their parents behind, the birds can begin to train. This is Honey, and uh, she is almost six years old now. I have been working with her for five years. Um, we've done all types of different cool things. Uh, we've done landfills where she scares seagulls away. Um, any industrial buildings that have seagulls nesting on the roof, she's chased them off as well. Um, and she's done uh, theater things, photo shoots, educational displays for people. Later on in the day, Julia gave me the opportunity to hang out with Honey. I was only slightly petrified, but despite her intimidating looks, Honey is social and friendly. Has there ever been a moment where she's flown away, you haven't been able to get her back? And what would you do in a circumstance like that? Yes, it does happen. Um, it's very terrifying when it does. Um, but there are measures that you put in place to get them back when it does. So for example, on her tail, she has got a little antenna here. Um, so I have a receiver in the truck. So that'll actually beep and we'll be able to track her down. Um, and then she's got a bell too, so she's not that far. You can usually hear the bell ringing in the trees. Um, but yes, yeah, she actually took off one day when we were at the landfill with a bunch of turkey vultures. Um, they flew up, up into the sun, basically. I couldn't even really tell which bird was mine anymore. And uh, I got out what's called the emergency lure. So she, when she sees that, it's just something that you swing and you put a piece of meat on it. When she sees that, she knows she's going to get a big meal. So as soon as she saw it, she came down and she was so high, I couldn't even recognize her anymore. But she just dropped for that that meal because she knew I'm going to get a big meal. I'm coming right back. So That's it for today's Odd Jobs. Tune in next week to see who and what we find next.